Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to implement the dropout in the TensorFlow with some concepts here. What is the dropout? Dropout is dropping out nodes in a neural network when you are training your model. So here is the normal neural network. You have the nodes in the layer. We have three layers here. And if you are applying the dropout in your model, for example here we have the 33% ratio in the dropping out on the hidden layer. Let's say we have three mini batches here. First mini batch, you are just not using the first node in the hidden layer. And the second mini batch, uh, we are not using the second node in the hidden layer. And the third mini batch, we are not using the third node in the hidden layer. So here is the comparison. What's the difference between the dropping out and no dropping out? Here you can see you don't have the node and you don't have the weight linking to this node, right? You don't have the node, we don't have the weight edges here. That means we have less computation in the dropping out model. That means we have low variance than the high variance no dropping out model here. And the low variance means in this chart, if your model is already overfitted sitting on here, you can give less variance and you can sit in on this space. That means you are overcoming the overfitting on your deep learning model. So if you think your model is kind of overfitted model, you can apply the dropping out and uh, you can give some less variance here and that uh, you can overcome the overfitting. This is it. And uh, make sure that you are using the dropping out on your training phase, but you are not using the dropping out in your testing or real deployment. Because dropping out is giving the less variance on training in order to have the less variance on your the best model. And uh, your best model should be deployed with no dropping out because that's the model of the best epoch. Okay, let's see the example here. And uh, here is my the GitHub repository. You can always come here and practice yourself. And uh, here I'm going to run this one first because I want to save my time here. So I'm going to run this one. And uh, let start. And it's coming. So it will show you the accuracy here, validation accuracy and the training accuracy. And now it's working. Okay. So I'm going to show you the graph here. What I'm going to do is in hidden layer 2, I'm going to give the dropout 10% here. In order to see this one, I'm going to see key probability here. And uh, uh, for your information, this I'm using the pre-implemented MLP. And uh, if you are interested in this MLP, then uh, you can just watch my previous video. I'm going to, yeah, in this video, uh, in that video, in previous video, uh, I'm explaining how this MLP is working. Uh, in this video, I'm going to just focus on the dropping out. So here I have the key prob variable, and this is just nothing but the TF placeholder for the hidden layer 2 here. And you can see here H2 underscore drop. So H2 is just a hidden layer 2. You can see that it has ReLU as the activation function, getting the whole node here, right? Matrix, matrix multiplication of the hidden layer 1 with weight and plus bias value. And then we are applying the dropping out on this hidden layer 2, say tf.nn dot drop out of the H2, giving key probability. So key probability is I want to keep this amount of the probability in this layer. So if we search this one in the training, then you can see 0.9. That means I want to keep the 90% of node in hidden layer 2. That means I want to drop out 10% of this layer. So when we are training, we are giving the 0.9 in order to have 10% of drop out. But if you see, when you the check the accuracy, I'm giving 1.0, 1.0, 1.0. Also, when you are testing this guy, I'm giving 1.0 because when you are testing or when you are deploying your model, that the moment we just use the model, we are not, we don't want to drop out a node because it's testing or deployment. Be sure that you are using the dropping out when you are testing, uh, when you are training, because we want to give less variance when you are training to have the best model, less variance and uh, overcome the overfitting. Okay, this is it, and uh, your test accuracy is 91.7%. Wow, it's really good. Hopefully, this video helps you to practice the dropping out, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.